Brother! Oh. To your left, you can see me climbing over it. Well, Hello, hello. My name is Arthur. Welcome to I'm a Maskist. Have you ever sat on the couch and decided, how much can I take today until I hit the breaking point? Today we're going to be playing some Tarkov, but a little different, obviously. I'm going to attempt to go 100 raids with only using the Mosin. And I thought to myself, how about we make it even more of a challenge? Instead of using my higher level account, I'm going to start fresh. A sweet baby boy. Level 1 strength, level 1 endurance. Mm, the good stuff. We all know the Mosin, of course. The 762 by 54 Chad Killer, as they call it. Or the Head Eyes Supreme Mean Lean Machine. Unfortunately, I am horrible with the Mosin. So we're gonna see how this goes. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us escape from Tarkov. So, just like when everyone else starts a new wipe, the first thing I have to do is sort my dumpster fire of an inventory and sell everything. Because it's all useless, I'm only using a Mosin. Next on the agenda is to move everything from the top of my inventory to the bottom. Because it's easier that way. Trust me. Now I just have to grab some Mosins, some ammo, and gear up and, well, off we go. So, the first raid went pretty well, honestly. I got a pretty good spawn over on the bunker side, so I went underground looking for Salua's for uh, the first therapist quest. Now, unfortunately, it appears that God has come into the raid already, taken all the loot, and replaced it with shit. But I'm not too surprised, that's how my normal runs go as well. I proceed to check the doctor's car, gas station ambulance. Ah, uh, nothing. To add on to the fact that I have been relentlessly disappointed by every spawn that I know for these Saluas, it was quiet. Too quiet. So I decided to mutilate my legs with some barbed wire. But luckily enough, all my pain and agony was not to waste, for I have found my first victim. I swiftly raised my rifle, and... I... I missed. But then I shot again! And down he went. At this point, I was satisfied with the raid, honestly. I'd just come back in later and, you know, check the spots again for more Saluas. So, knowing that our UAF roadblock was the closest, that's where I started heading. And little did I know that I would soon regret the fact that I said that it was too quiet. Because I all of a sudden found myself in the middle of the scav apocalypse. First, I was caught by the flashlight-wielding Meat Block, who took three Mosin rounds to the chest. Then I was met with a scav, who apparently really enjoyed the game Peekaboo. Then came Magnum Buckshot Scav. And of course, to finish things off, there was Moonwalking Scav. So after I dispatched of this mini horde, I did eventually end up making it to Extract, and all was quiet once again. Now that's one raid down, and 99 to go. <sighs> okay! The time has come. The second raid is here, and this time I decide to go to Woods. That way I can meet up with Jaeger. Now, under any normal circumstance, I would avoid this map like the plague. For I hate Woods. Whether it be Sturman sniping you from halfway across the map, or a player laying in the random bush in the middle of the woods, uh, it's generally just not a good time for me. But all that put aside, uh, the raid was pretty quiet, besides for me getting lost and then getting a little jump scared by Sturman's rifle. I did eventually end up finding the crash plane that leads me to Jaeger's letter. So after that, I started to head to Extract because screw this map. And then I stumbled upon my first player. Oh, oh, wait, nope. Nope, that's a scav. All right. Now, being full of disappointment and letters from Jaeger, I've decided it's best I leave. Thank you. Well, now that I've found and turned in Jaeger's letter, it looks like we can go back to customs and our hunt for the Saluas. So this third raid started out pretty well. We found absolutely nothing under the power warehouse and then proceeded to spend most of our ammo on a singular scav. Oh. 
Now, other than that, I'm not particularly sure what was running through my head at the time when I was doing this raid, because I checked one spot for the Slua kit, killed two scav, and left. And my best guess is that dinner was ready, and that I was quite hungry. Now as for this fourth raid, this is an entirely different story. This is where things got spicy. So I started right next to the doctor's car, which I checked, and, you know, there's nothing. That's per usual. And after this, I decided to head over to gas station to check the ambulance. But as soon as I was approaching the rear of gas station, I heard something... odd. Could it be? Did Rashal and his goons just spawn in right in front of me? Or was this simply just an audio glitch? Soon enough, I came to the conclusion that indeed, Rashala was here. And I knew what must be done. So I spent the next 10 minutes circling around gas station, getting different angles, and uh, clearing out one goon at a time. Now things did get worrisome at certain points as other players showed up, but luckily Rashala's goons mowed them down. Eventually, somewhere in the mess, I had shot Rashala, and now I've done it. I have killed Rashala with the Mosin. Now that I feel like I've actually achieved something in life, I decide it's time to get out of here. Sitting at a crisp 50 kilograms did make things difficult, though. But little did I know until I killed my last scav that being overweight was the least of my problems. That's right. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> so at this point, the panic really sets in, and I just do whatever I can to get out. And miraculously, I did it. Okay! So I know that some of you are wondering, why haven't you checked Crack House for Slewis? That's where a lot of medical stuff spawns. Well, you see, I've been trying not to die. But the game kind of forced my hand and put me right in front of Krakow's. So, I took advantage of the situation, and by God, after clearing out the Krakow's, I was now the owner of two brand new Saluas. At this point, I was, you know, pretty stoked, ready to get out, but didn't want to get out yet, it's only been a couple minutes. But I figured, eh. Don't push my luck, don't go towards Fortress, so I went to go leave out con the construction side. Well, little did I know that this was a mistake. Before even fully getting into construction, I ran into... a player, a scav, uh, one of the two, and they just wouldn't die. So after firing off about ten rounds, I decided to flank around towards RUAF and, you know, cutting through one of the holes in the wall, and I finally killed the bastard that I was in a fight with. But, merely moments later... I was head-eyed by a player. Well, we had a good run while it lasted, but all we can do is just put more gear on and go in again. The game once again spawned me near Krakow's, so, as anyone would, I took the bait. I searched the entire building and, well... Unfortunately, there were not a single Salua this time. And since leaving through construction last time worked out so well, I decided I should go towards Fortress this time. That was a mistake, as I quickly ran into a player. Luckily, he was healing, so I took advantage of the situation and, well, I came out on top. But just after that, I don't know if it was his buddy or maybe the man who hurt him and caused him to heal, I ran into him too and... Well, you know what happens. Straight ahead. But to answer your question, this is why I don't go to crack house. Hey guys, thanks for making it through the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe give the video a little like. I'll catch you next time. Bye.